Hi Brenda, Connor Holt here with Wilson Motor. I just wanted to put a face to the name so you know who have you been talking to this past week about this beautiful 2019 Nissan Sentra SR here behind me. And I want to do a little walk around video since you're not here in town so you can kind of see what it looks like before you come up here this weekend to come take it for a spin. So let me just back out here and we can kind of just do a little walk around. Up here in the front, you're going to have your iconic Nissan Chrome V in the very front. So that's one of the kind of things that you'll notice about all Nissans, they all have that. You also have that older Nissan symbol um, they just updated that I think in 2022 is when they got the new symbol going down With these lights, I believe that they are the halogen lights, but I can verify that for you here shortly um, Let's start with just walking around all the way around to so kind of see the outside being a black vehicle There's kind of a little bit of just your, your wear and tear Like little simple scratches on there. You can't see in the sunlight I don't know if you can if you can see them here on the video If you look directly where that sun is you can kind of see just kind of it just happens with the black vehicles um, as you like go run through like a machine car wash, it, it just gets kind of that scratch and it, you can see it a lot more on a black vehicle than you can on other colors. Um, these are what your Sentra SR wheels are like. Uh, they're really cool and I'm kind of jealous. I drive a 2011 Sentra and it's kind of, it's the, ba the base model, the model, well, the base model. And so it's not the cool alloy wheels, just the basic metal that rusts really fast. So I had to paint mine black to kind of avoid that rust. <laughs> so this is a lot cooler than mine. Um, you have this cool little button feature here on both the driver's side and the passenger door where if you have your key in your pocket, you can kick, uh, open, push that button and it will unlock the door for you. Uh, to be able to get the gas, you have to hit the button on the inside so no one can siphon gas out of there for you. Back here on the back, you're gonna see the center on the left, the SR on the right, and you can pop up with a little button right there to pop open the trunk and you have a pretty decent sized trunk here. Let's see if I can get the, the lighting to adjust there we go so you get a lot of space back here and then to be able to get these on you have to pop them down from the other side so it's not from back here I open this back here so you can see what that looks like so to be able to pop this up there's this little handle right here we can pop that down and now you can have space to the trunk from the inside the vehicle as well and these aren't you can't move these headrests at all so they're just kind of stuck in there but back here in the back, I mean, being the SR for one, you're gonna have kind of a different design here in the middle. You have this little kind of these squarish lines to throw a little design in there so it's not all just plain black. And there's a little storage options here. Uh, I don't really know what you'd store there. Maybe an, an old school brick phone like a Nokia or something like that. <laughs> Maybe some gum or some candy. Um, there are charging options back here. You got a USB and a USB-C that people here in the back seat can charge. There's no seat pocket on the driver's seat side but there is a seat pocket on the passenger side here. And then they have uh, the, the little cup holders on the doors. And there's also a little armrest with cup holders here in the middle if there ha doesn't happen to be someone in the middle seat sitting there. If we open up this way and come up here into the front, I'll show you some of the options that we have up here too. So I'm gonna just turn this volume down on the music so I don't have to worry about that going on right now. So here, I was gonna go over the options from left to right of what we have here in this vehicle. So your do all your locking controls of windows and doors, the window options, brightness of your display here, the cluster. These are your mirror controls for both the right and left side, side view mirrors. That's how you open the trunk from inside the vehicle. You can turn on the sport mode to be able to have those RPMs go up a little higher so you can kind of take off faster. And then you have a traction control option right here to help you not slide around as much or depending on how you want to slide, how you drive the vehicle. I personally hate the traction control option, so I always turn that off in mine. This is how you open that gas uh, door on the back side. It just, uh, that way so you can unlock it to have, fill the gas and this is right next to the, that front hood option there. Lights and blinkers on the left side. Uh, wipers are gonna be on the right side. Then you're going to have all the media controls here on the left here. And this is your cruise control here on the right. Uh, this does have adaptive cruise control. And so when you have the cruise control turned on, you can see those little white, three of the white lines on top that are going down. That's three car lanes, two car lanes, and one car length away. So you can see that. Um, while we're looking there at the dash, RPMs are on the left side with your engine temperature. On the right, you have the speed and the gas level. And then here in the middle, you have a center cluster, which you can change your information in there, what that looks like. Um, of what you want it to, but you got to change the right button there. Where is it? I know I saw that button. Oh, there it is right here. This button right there will change that information right there in the center cluster so you can see different options there. 
So a lot, lot of different options there. And then as you can see, we have 61,643 miles on this vehicle here. Um, over here, you have your center console with all your media options. There is no CD player. They've taken that out of this model at this point in 2019. But there is AM, FM, XM radio. You can do Bluetooth. You have the aux cord option, which is here in the center console right here. You can do aux cord or you can do a connection with your USB. If you plug your phone in here as well, you will have this phone option right here, which will change to either uh, Apple CarPlay if you have an iPhone or Android Auto if you have an Android. Here's your climate controls. It does come with dual. You hit the dual option there. You can change the passenger temperature to hotter or colder than what the driver's temperature is. There's an additional little 12 volt charger here. This is how you're going to be uh, shifting into gears with the shifter stick here. And then you have heated seats up here in the front, cup holders here. And then there is a owner's manual there for additional questions that you might have. You also have the light options up here. You can hit that and it will open, turn the lights on and off when you open the doors, sunglass holder, and then just a simple visor there with a mirror. This is what the key looks like. You got lock, unlock, your opening your trunk, and then alarm right there. And that would be all the options on this little vehicle. It's awesome. I love Centros. Like I said, I've been driving a Centro for now over a little over a year now. And it gets me from point A to point B real easily. And I save a lot of gas on it. It's awesome. They, they, they got really good gas mileage. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to let me know. And I'd love to help you out any way that I can. Hopefully I'll see you here this weekend. And uh, have a good day.